Let's talk about neo pronouns and why I think I have about had it as well as several other people in the gay community. What are they and why do they exist? I'm sure you've heard of them, especially if you've gone out anywhere in the last year or so. Let's get in. We're at a point where people are fighting for the protective right of neo pronouns. If that's covered under your religion because it's not a objectively real examinable thing and you're making up things like being transgender or transsexual, it's this huge debate right now, then people can disagree that that's not a lifestyle for them. And they can also disagree that they do not have to use language that is controlled by your philosophy or your belief system. But yet the gay community seems to have forgotten that. What we are running into is we're running into not really going into areas of let's go ahead and get the same rights. We want preferential treatment, meaning that if you see me, even though I physically look like a man, you must call me a woman. I'm sorry, but no, that comes into conflict with so many different things, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, just ability to just disagree altogether completely taken away. What it is, is it's not discriminatory when somebody says, I'm sorry, I disagree with you. I don't believe that you are a woman, but you can believe that you're a woman all day long. It's not discrimination. It's disagreeing. And it's called difference of opinion and difference of belief. It doesn't mean that they are hate, that they are bigots. It just means that they believe something different because they have different worldview, philosophy, religion, and so much more, and that's okay to have. It doesn't mean that they should sit down and just do what you want because you want to be received in a certain way and you're going to be forceful about it.